Hey everybody, it's Tommy with Better Time. And I'm in a Longine state of mind. I am going to be doing several watches um, today. In fact, I'll probably be doing about four or five, I think, all together that are all Longines. And uh, uh, you've heard me say it, you'll get sick of hearing me say it, but Boulevard Longines are two uh, watches that it's... It's a great time to be buying either of these watches in vintage because there are still deals that you can get on um, Bulba and Long Jeans. And if you've been doing this for any length of time, you have watched the prices of these go already just through the stratosphere. And I don't mean that they're untouchable because they're not, but their prices have increased in some um, cases three and 400% in, in a pretty short period of time. And the reason is there's a lot of people right now that are getting into vintage. Like vintage, is, uh, vintage watches are really kind of becoming the thing. And I love that. I really do. Uh, because I get it. You know, every watch tells a story and uh, vintage watches tell great stories. This is a 1963 long jeans bow tie. It refers to the lugs, people. You see the lugs on that? Very, very cool. Almost looks like uh, antennae, right? You see the sub-second dial doing its thing. Same way it's been doing since 1963. And I'm glad that I've got a good camera because you see the case. It's got that brushed, um, kind of textured look to the case. But the bezel is smooth. And the contrast between the case and the bezel is just amazing. Case is in really, really good shape. It does have an inscription on it. There are people that, that um, don't dig inscriptions. I love them. I really do because to me, it's just the history of the watch. But uh, the gentleman's name that uh, had the watch originally, and uh, it's um, from February 1964, which would make sense because this is a 63. Um, and watch has just been kept in really great shape. None of that exquisite brushwork around the case has lost any of that beauty. It's just really, really in great shape. The crystal is in good shape and it is on like a uh, wine colored um, strap, which is awesome. Um, and people, you know, sometimes if somebody really uh, has a problem with a specific color strap or whatever, we'll work with them. It's not like we uh, don't have some laying around, but uh, not trying to brag, but if you look, we do have 100% satisfaction here. And uh, I think the reason for that is probably that we're watch guys. We're not people that are listing watches um, as one of a bunch of products that we sell. We, uh, we buy and sell watches. It's what we do. And we do that because we have a complete love affair with watches. Uh, this happens to be a brand that, you know, we're really fond of. So when we're hunting down Bulbas and we're hunting down uh, Lawn Jeans, um, you know, we, we're looking for, you know, sometimes in anything, you're looking for something you can flip and make money, whatever. And then with certain brands that you really love, you're looking for something that you'd be really excited to wear. And this is just one of those watches. The way that the smooth goes into the brushwork and then that exquisite bezel that's just smooth all the way around. You're not going to find scratches on that crystal. It's really in good shape, but this is just a gorgeous timepiece. And this is listed currently at $650. Um, and boy, where are you going to get a watch like that for $650 today? Honestly, I mean, if you look at, at that price point, um, you're just not going to find anything as beautiful as uh, what Lawn Jeans and, uh, and Bulba and the, the vintage watch brands were pushing out in the 60s. Just really, really gorgeous stuff. So, uh, and as always, we're taking offers. So uh, do what you do. You know how to get a hold of us. I am Tommy with a better time and boy these were made in a better time weren't they they really were we'll see you on the next watch god bless